Liz Taylor. What? This woman goes through hips like I go through pantyhose. Have you seen my hair, Dini? What? My hair, Dini. You know, that hair thing in my bobby that I got off the television? You borrowed it about a month ago. You know, Chloe, you always do this. You borrow things, and then you don't bring them back. I don't always borrow things. OK. I cannot find my shoes. Where are my red pumps? I borrowed them. <laughs> well, where are they? I think this other girl's got them. What girl? This girl named Patty. Who's Patty? Chuck's girlfriend. Who's Chuck? The guy. What guy? The guy whose window I climbed out of without your red pumps when his girlfriend Patty came home. Look, I want my hair Dini back. Oh, I remember where it is now. Good, where? OK, so there's this girl named Trisha. <laughs> no. in room 328? I told you, it is a surprise. You know what? I don't trust your surprises. I mean, is this a, is this a nice happy birthday surprise? Or is this one of those bad, we're sneaking into David Schwimmer's proctology exam surprises? <laughs> as for a guy who's supposed to be a friend on that particular day, he was not so chummy. <laughs> Darling, today you are going to see something that very few people have ever seen. Is it Pamela Anderson reading a book? <laughs> Camilla! Darla, good morning. How are you, precious? Good. <laughs> oh, we ordered room service. I hope you don't mind. No, no, we want you to splurge. Champagne, massages, everything you want, put it on the comet. Well, comfortable? Room all right? Oh, it is the swankiest. I feel so sophisticated. Do you know that last night I actually got out of the shower to go pee-pee? <laughs> Swanky. <laughs> Darla, I want you to meet Nora Wild. She's our photographer. She's going to do your wedding pictures. Cool. Ah, Darla's getting married. Uh-huh. And that's the big surprise? Uh-huh. Man, am I floored. Woman gets married. Has the world gone loopy? It gets good, Mom. <laughs> it gets so very, very good. Hey, honey, Camilla Dane is here. See, you've built it up too much. Now, no matter what the surprise is, it can't possibly live up to all your hype. Yes, it can. Mm. Hey, Camilla. Hey. No, see, you have ruined it. Because now I'm expecting something weird. So no matter what happens, I'm gonna act cool. You're gonna act cool? Yeah. See, what you've done is, you've lost the element of surprise. Yay, yay, yay! This way. Right. Oh, you're right. I've ruined it. Yay, 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 yay. Hang on, hang on! Hang on, hang on! Tonight, can Priestley Richard Chamberlain keep his collar on? Check out part three of The Thorn Birds, and Antonio Banderas haunts the house of the spirits. Then, what's there to do on a co-ed's to-do list? Ask Felicity. If you want to pretend it's still the weekend, we support you. We, Women's Entertainment. On the next episode of Single in the City, Lauren offers some friendly advice. Better to go classy instead of assy when you can. Oh, yeah. This is to going home alone with confidence. <laughs> and Danny sets the bait for her date. If I were a hot pant, what hot pant would I be? I think it speaks for itself. Yes. Real women, real life, real singles. Single in the City. Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern on We Women's Entertainment. The time is ripe for a new idea in homemade dessert. Introducing new banquet dessert bakes. Now everything you need is in one box to bake a dessert your whole family will love. New Banquet Dessert Bakes. It's today's homemade. Part-time lipsticks need not apply. Overtime lip color. It's color stay. Non-stop color, food-proof color. And over-the-top shine in one tube. Overtime lip color. Only Revlon makes it. Only you make it unforgettable. 
You'll feel so confident underneath it all. You'll feel so carefree underneath it all. Because underneath, you're wearing new Carefree Perfect Fit Panty Liners. Light protection that's so comfortable, so flexible, it's like they become one with your underwear. New Carefree Perfect Fit Panty Liners. Sears now has Land's End. Come in to see the latest styles for the whole family. It's for him, but the way he'll look in it, it's kind of for me too. This will be his favorite coat since his high school letter jacket. Dad says this will get him major points with Mom. Discover the top-dyed lightweight men's sweater, the warm, weather-resistant men's Merrimack jacket, or the combed cotton softness of the women's zip cardigan. The Yo play. Boys, I'd like you to meet Nora Wilde, the photographer. Nora? Yeah. Uh, this is Ned and Ed Perlow. Hi. How are you? Ned. Ned and... Ed. Ed. Great. So, you're brothers? <laughs> no, we're Siamese cousins. It's just, I thought Siamese twins would naturally be identical. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe you know more about this than we do. She says we're supposed to be identical. Oh, no. Somebody screwed up. I'm sorry. I just don't know what... It's OK. Forget it. We fluster a lot of people. Oh, hey. Fluster? I don't know. I'm not flustered. Huh. I don't fluster so easy. I kind of pride myself in keeping my cool. Okay, I'm gonna hit the mini bar. <laughs> oh, this is marvelous stuff. All right, Nora, get to work. Let's have some pictures. Lots and lots of pictures. The Comet has paid 100,000 for the world exclusive on this wedding, haven't we, boys? I guess that 100,000 will come in handy, won't it? After all, these fellows don't shop off the rack. <laughs> Could you guys get a little further apart? Lady, it took us 11 operations to get this far apart. Okay, sorry, I just... Let, let, let me just get one thing straight. Now, Darla, are you marrying Ed? Or are you marrying Ed and Ned? Oh, no, Ed, of course. <laughs> well, actually, it's kind of a weird story. Uh-huh. Now it gets weird. You see, I was dating Ned first, but, well, it was kind of awkward. How come? Because I'm left-handed. <laughs> hey, I don't even want to guess what the hell that's for. So then, after about three dates, Ned introduced me to his brother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was difficult at first. Yeah, because we were seeing each other behind Ned's back. <laughs> Okay, so, so Ed and, and Darla will be married. Right. And then, Ned, you, you'll still be unattached? Well, if you don't count three vital organs and a buttock. <laughs> Thanks, Camilla. No, I mean, they'll be married, so you'll be, what, dating? Why? Don't you think I should date? No. I mean, yes. I, I'm a person. I'm a regular guy. I put my pants on two legs at a time, just like anybody else. Or, or maybe you think I'm too grotesque to get a date. No, no, not at all. I didn't mean, you know, you're a very attractive couple. Men. Man. <sighs> guy, I bet that you could get a date with anybody. You? What? Are you free tonight for a date? Okay, this has all suddenly gotten very French. <laughs> She'd absolutely love it. I would? Of course she yeah. would. <laughs> Look at her, she's <laughs> beside herself. Know the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question number six. Would your ideal man be A, a rugged outdoorsman? No. B, a tortured artist? Maybe. C, ooh. I think this is the one. Okay. A man with 20 fingers and two sets of genitals. <laughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> you know, I've 
done some pretty kinky things in my time, but kiddo, you just slapped me. <laughs> All right, stop it, okay? It's not funny. No more jokes. <laughs> it's just, it's just a date. So where are you going? Well, not dancing. <laughs> Enough, all right? <laughs> Ask me another question. Mm -hmm. Survey. Okay. Seven. Would you marry a man if because of physical problems he couldn't give you children? Well, sure. I mean, if I loved him, we could always adopt, or I could be impregnated by somebody other than my husband. Okay, feature this. Let's say you get married. To who? Doesn't matter. Uh, maybe not to you. <laughs> it's hypothetical. Can it be Johnny Depp? Johnny Depp is with Kate Moss. Yeah, but hypothetically, Kate could lose two more pounds and get sucked down the drain when she empties the bathwater. Okay. You're married to Johnny Depp. Oh, cool. And then because you love me so much, you loan him to me so I can get pregnant. No way. What do you mean, no way? I mean, no way. I think that's skeezy. I loaned you my hair, Dini. And you won't loan me your husband's penis? Hey, it's just a little different. I mean, plus, you were married to my dad. Technically, you were my stepmother. Oh, come on, there's no blood there. Now, why won't you let me have Johnny's baby? Uh, Johnny and I are just not comfortable with it. I can't believe you. <laughs> What's so hard to believe? That I don't want my husband making love to you? I mean, honestly, Nora, don't you think this marriage is gonna have enough problems, what with Johnny away on location all the time? Okay, forget about Johnny Depp, all right? You're not married to Johnny Depp. You divorce Johnny Depp. Uh-huh, it's because I let him give you the baby, isn't it? <laughs> Would you shut up? All right, look, you're married to Joe Blow, okay? I need a baby. You don't let me have Joe Blow's baby? No. But I'm your best friend in the whole world. Ah, but am I not also Mrs. Blow? God, you are selfish. I'm selfish? You just ruined my marriage to Johnny. Now you're trying to ruin my idyllic marriage to Dr. Blow. Oh, Dr. Blow, he's a doctor now? Right, and after I put him through medical school, he up and leaves me for some flat-bellied homewrecker. You know what? You are not a friend. A friend would let her husband give me a baby. Ah, uh, all right. Are you really thinking about the baby, Nora? What exactly does that mean? Oh, for God's sakes, look at your life. Would you want you for a mother? What did you say? Okay, look, that came out a little harsh. Yeah, it did. It came out as about the crappiest thing anyone's ever said to me. Wow, you know, I was your mother for six years, and I thought I did a pretty good job. Huh, guess I was wrong. Friendship rule number one. I'm only doing this for you. You know, Berg, I'm buying like a tenth of that. Two guys and a girl, coming up next on We Women's Entertainment. They say laughing burns 120 calories an hour. That means that watching sitcoms on Wii from 6 to 8 will burn 240 calories. I feel like an enormous weight has just been lifted. That's half a cup of ice cream or one slice of pizza. <laughs> now, if I tape and watch each show twice... We Laugh, weeknights at 6 p.m., only on Wii. I love a good trashy book. I love you. But what I love most is watching a good trashy book on TV. Hi. I have no respect for tramps. Let's face it, shoulder pads just don't come to life on the page the way they do on the screen. Monday Minis, the story unfolds every Monday at 8 p.m. Tonight, the story continues with Richard Chamberlain in part three of The Thornbirds. Indulge only on We. The couple. The conflict. White now. White now. Yeah. The beam stay. The design expert. There's going to be a compromise. Can David and Etere coexist? Find out on our new show created by Courtney Cox to help you redesign rooms and relationships. I got it in Venice. I got it at Target. Catch an all new episode of Mix It Up Wednesday at 8 Eastern, 5 and 10 Pacific, only on Wii. Boys, your mother and I have given it a lot of thought. And, well... We think it's time we told you something. 
What? We're not really triplets. Don't be silly. It's the pizza. It's not delivery. It's DiGiorno. For fresh baked pizza at home, it's not delivery. It's DiGiorno. Whew. I thought you were going to tell us that Ling was adopted. <laughs> <laughs> Colds are nasty. They're mean. Tylenol cold day and night. A non-drowsy formula for your day and one that lets you rest at night. No more sneezing. No more sniffling. No more misery. No product works harder than Tylenol cold day and night. It feels so good to be better. You think Santa will like the presents we give him? I don't know. I've never met the guy. So they're, they're sneaking in. They go around the Christmas tree. Santa, out of nowhere, these two have a little confrontation of eyes. Ah! They do exist. He does exist. They both pass out, and he's like, Santa? Santa? Are you okay? <laughs> Are you sure that's what happens? That's exactly what happens. What truly defines what exists? <laughs> Sears now has Land's End. Come in to see the latest styles for the whole family. It's for him, but the way he'll look in it, it's kind of for me, too. This will be his favorite coat since his high school letter jacket. Dad says this will get him major points with Mom. Discover the top-dyed lightweight men's sweater, the warm, weather-resistant men's Merrimack jacket, or the comb cotton softness of the women's zip cardigan. The legendary quality, style, and value of Land's End. Now available at Sears. Sears, good life, great price. What happens when you add real flour, the unbeatable no-stick power of Pam? New pan for baking, specially created to evenly reach every nook and cranny, so your most challenging baked goods just come out better. New pan for baking, another reason pan is America's favorite no-stick spray. One joy. One hope. One pain. One spirit. One place. Discovery Health Channel. Real life. Medicine. Miracles. You should be inside the network. I'm in. Get your hands on some serious technology, like a compact Presario with a mobile Intel Pentium 4 processor, all for just $9.99 after rebate, plus free shipping. Get what they've got. Get a compact Presario. It's as if he has the strength of two men. <laughs> Cheers, partner. Oh, that's oh, cool. 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 That's cool. <laughs> that beer goes right through you no matter how many kidneys you have. <laughs> Where's the little Siamese twins room? Uh, it's right back there. Thanks. Um, uh, guys. <clears throat> oh, all right. Yeah! <laughs> They are so juvenile. <laughs> but it is something to see. <laughs> so, this your first date with a Siamese twin? Huh, let me think. <laughs> yeah, first since high school. <laughs> so, Darla, do you find that there are a lot of inherent problems with dating Ed? Well, we have to stay really far away from any place with a revolving door. <laughs> and, oh, well, you probably want to know what it's like in bed, right? <laughs> bed? No, 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 no. No. Yeah. Well, sex is complicated. Well, I can imagine. Probably not. <laughs> I mean, Ed and I are a couple. I mean, I don't do stuff with Ned or anything. Yeah, but then, uh, what does Ned do while you and Ed are... Oh, well, most often he plays along with his mandolin. <laughs> I'll just bet he does. <laughs> 
Oh, you mean an actual mandolin. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. I can die now. Boy, just when you think you've seen every way a guy can go to the can. Yeah, but you haven't seen Jack till you've seen it in stereo. <laughs> My turn. Okay, but I gotta tell you, you got a pretty tough act to follow. Dave. What'd I do? Why don't you just get the guy some more beer? Okay. So what do you guys do for a living? We're semi-professional hockey players. Get out of here, you skate? Well, not very well. But we are one hell of a goalie. <laughs> Boy, our relationships are hard enough one-on-one. -on -one. I, I think it's amazing that you found somebody that you both like. Yeah, right. What? Well, truth be known, I can't stand Darla. Get out no of here. way. No, it's true. And you know? You know that Ned can't stand Darl? Well, when you shower with a guy, it's hard to keep things from him. <laughs> Tell us about it. <laughs> Dave. That was one night. I was drunk. Don't go there now. <laughs> this make Darla feel? She doesn't know. Ed, it's, it's not like you're two brothers who live in different cities. I mean, how can you possibly marry a woman that Ned can't stand? She's gonna find out. What? See? <laughs> you don't like me? He likes you, he doesn't like you. What's the difference? Is he the one marrying you? Well, almost. You know, not to get myself off the hook here, but see, isn't it great that you guys can finally talk about this? See, we're, we're really opening the channels of communication. I'm leaving you, Ed. Okay, now, now you're closing the channels of communication, Darla. Here's your ring. It's not gonna work. Darla! I'm sorry, Eddie, but I can't marry a man who shares a colon with a man who doesn't respect me. <laughs> Well, Camilla, I, I, I'm gonna go down to the hotel right now, and you will get your wedding, Camilla. I, I promise. Hey, Nora. I'll call you back. Nora, I brought back all your stuff I borrowed. I'm not talking to you. Mr. Donner, help me. Oh, come on. Oh, look, she, she brought your... Uh... Your pink sweatpants and then and, uh, your pink blouse. Okay, those were red sweatpants. That was a white blouse. <laughs> okay, you could look at it that way. Or you could say, hey, Chloe, congratulations on your first load of laundry. <laughs> Tell her she can keep them. <laughs> I don't want them. Look, Nora, I brought everything back because I'm trying to apologize. Look, Nora, I say stupid things all the time. Every other word out of her mouth. See? She's virtually a moron. Yeah. The woman hasn't got the brains God gave a cabbage. Okay. Let me tell you something. This woman is so stupid, she had to study for a pap test. All right, Shecky. Why, I remember the time. Knock it off! <laughs> Look, what you said wasn't stupid. It was mean. You said a baby wouldn't want me as a mother? A friend would never say that to a friend. Okay. I said I was sorry. It's not accepted. Well, what are you saying? We're not friends anymore? No, Chloe. I'm saying maybe we were never friends. Come in. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, look at this. You guys made up. Oh, sure. Well, what? How? Well, we talked. And the wedding's back on? Yep. Well, and you all like each other now? Nope, she still bugs me. You seemed to like me pretty well last night. Hey, that was an accident. We were sweaty and my hand slipped off the mandolin. Okay, wait, I, I, I don't get this. You still don't like her and you're still gonna marry her? What don't you get? He's my brother. He's my best friend. And I love Ed. And I would never deny Ed that love. That would be pretty selfish. I mean, if somebody's your friend, somebody's your family, you don't just blow them off, do you? Especially over a little thing like this. I mean, that'd be crazy. 
Wait a minute, this isn't a little thing. This is the rest of your life. It's not a little thing like a hypothetical baby. Hey, could I borrow your phone for a sec? Sure. Just uh, let yourself out when you're done. Okay. Bye-bye. Hey, Chloe, it's Nora. How you feeling? Me too. Listen, could you come over? Yeah, right now, please. <laughs> okay, so when it's 100% cotton, you... Drip dry. Good girl. <sighs> I should have just given you the baby. Oh, come on, Chloe, what are we talking about? You know, I mean, there was a hypothetical husband and a hypothetical baby. We were being crazy, that's nuts. Yeah, but I went way too far. No. I never should have said anything about you being a bad mother. Well. You're gonna be a great mother. You were to me. I was just, I was just mad because you called me out on being an irresponsible, selfish twit, which you're I not. am. No, know, no, no, you're not. I'm the twit, I am, because you can't just throw out friends or family because they say something you don't like. That's, you know, being a total doofus burger head face. <laughs> well, if you want the hypothetical baby, it's yours. Really? Really? Even if the hypothetical father is Johnny Depp? Even if the hypothetical father is Senator Joe Blow? I thought he was a doctor. Yeah, but he was just using that as a stepping stone. <laughs> Besides, what are the chances of me bagging Johnny Depp? Four to one, three to one tops. Well, certainly not dressed like this. No. However, if I could borrow that black Donna Karen dress of yours... Oh, God! I mean, Chloe, get out of my closet! Beautiful wedding, man, just beautiful. When they walk down the aisle hand in hand, in hand, in hand, in hand. Did you all see when I released the three white doves? See, that symbolized their love. Yeah, who, who sewed them together? That was a nice touch. Thanks for inviting me to the wedding. Well, I wanted you there. I like your hair. You wanna borrow it? <laughs> So, would you ladies care to dance with the groom and his best man? Sure, we'd love to. Okay, but I have to warn you, we have two left feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, well. 